Stim Walt here, quick and dirty, dark and darker guide. Let's go to the Iron Mace Twitter. There we will find a link, a magnet link, which is actually a torrent file. So you can use whatever you want in terms of a torrent tracking and downloading tool. They do make recommendations on what to use. I'm not gonna do that. You'll just need to figure that out on your own. Remember, torrenting or torrents themselves are not illegal. Torrents are just a mechanism for getting a peer-to-peer -peer file. But the content, if it's unsanctioned to copyrighted material and you're downloading it, that's what makes it illegal. A lot of people have been asking, you know, are torrents illegal? No, torrents are not. It's, it's the content. So this is the installer. Go ahead and run through the install and you'll notice that when you try to log in, they ask for an account. And they'll give you a recovery key. Save that recovery key. You're going to need it in the future. That account will be associated with your IP address, most likely. So again, you'll notice Iron Mace responded and they said, oh, you know, we put an ID and password there. Can use a different ID if it says it's incorrect. Sorry, we put it together in a rush. So this is the install. It's pretty straightforward. You just install it wherever you can. It's 13 gigabytes though, so make sure you have plenty of space. I've already installed it. I'm gonna hit cancel, but you would go through the install yourself. And this is the shortcut. We'll just take a look at it real quick. It's a tankard. We'll go to properties and you'll notice that the installer or the actual exe, sorry, has a command line to go to a certain IP address and port, which is interesting. And they're still using dungeoncrawler.exe, which is a default Unreal Engine 4 template. So next we're going to go into the properties and we're going to make it run as an administrator and you can also make it run for Windows 7 if you still have issues. Now once we're in here again we're going to enter that ID and that password and we're going to log in. Now if you've never done this while it connects it's going to give you a button that you click on and it will give you a recovery ID or token. Just store that somewhere on your hard drive like I did. I just put it into a text file. You may need it in the future to recover your account. Then you'll be able to log in and the first thing I recommend doing in terms of performance, because a lot of people are complaining about this game being unplayable in Alpha 5. Go to video and just set everything to low, except for the texture. Texture quality, you can leave it epic. But set everything else to low, and then you can set your max frame rate to whatever your refresh rate on your monitor is. And then if you have an RTX NVIDIA card, enable DLSS. I noticed a huge performance difference for me. If you have AMD, do FSR2, and Intel is XESS. So upscaling basically just adds performance, potentially, depending on your video card. So I'm just gonna show you the areas that have the most problems. When you click on the map here, the new dungeon map is an overworld first level. And that overworld has tons of new objects and graphics, and that's what's slowing everyone's performance down. So by setting everything to low and enabling the upscaling, I'm able to play the game now. Now, if you were just gonna do the goblin caves the entire time, you probably wouldn't notice any performance difference. But when you do the normal dungeon on the first level with all the trees and graphics and objects, it slows down dramatically. They need to improve it. Iron Mace needs to improve it. But for now, just drop everything to low. And as you can see, when I'm running everything on low, except for the textures, and I have DLSS for my RTX NVIDIA card enabled, my performance is good. It's actually very playable. Tweaking your settings before in Playtest 4, and you had them really high, you're probably, if you load it into this region with those settings on high or epic, it will be extremely unplayable. Obviously, they're testing the graphics. They're, they're testing these upscaling features from these different video cards, NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. Um, I recommend you go into video, and if you want to play with it, just increase things to medium and see if it's still playable for you. And I think for me, medium is definitely okay, but you'll notice it's still, I get some stuttering and when you're playing a game like this, where performance is so, yeah, I'm getting some stuttering there. When performance is so important, I, I just don't care about these aspects. Textures I want high, but everything else I'm gonna put it low. And you can see the performance is, is drastically different when you drop everything to low. So that's it. Anyway, hopefully this improves game performance, makes Alpha Playtest 5 playable for you, and fixes your crashing that may occur when playing the game. Stimwalt out. If you want to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable notifications.